Joining me now is the Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett of the other canary in the coal mine state, Texas. She's a member of the House Oversight and Agriculture Committees. Uh, Congresswoman, thank you for being here. I, I want to talk about two distinct things with you. I want to talk about IVF and reproductive rights and the handmaid's tale nature of what's going on. But I also want to talk to you about this Project 2025 thing. There is a plan in the works. It's not, it's not abstract. There's a real plan in the works to create a presidency, if Donald Trump wins, that is not based on merit, it is based on loyalty, it is based on, on, on Christian fundamentalist principles. And it's written. Like the, the next administration is not going to be the last Trump administration, which was uh, like a bit of a clown car. Yeah, you know, what's crazy is that these people have commandeered what Christianity is. Um, and it is this random nonsense. I mean, I am the child of a preacher. And when I hear them talk about Christianity, I wonder to myself, what God are you talking about? And what Christian faith are you talking about? Because the things that we see that are being perpetrated in a very pervasive way are the exact opposite of what Christianity stands for. Not to mention, as you've already laid out, there is supposed to be a separation of church and state. When I walk in to legislate, I legislate as someone who is looking out for all of America, whether you are of the Islamic faith, Jewish faith, um, Christian faith, or no faith at all, because that is what we are supposed to do. But even if we were to adhere to the Christian principles, this is not what it looks like. It doesn't look like a place in which freedom is not lauded. It doesn't look like a place in which freedom is fleeting. It looks like a place in which freedom is honored, and it is actually something that we push forward with. So let's talk about what has gone on in Alabama, which is not news to you in Texas, because you uh, you used to be a state legislator in Texas. And and this, these issues uh, around abortion and the restrictions that can be placed on abortion or reproductive rights as a result of the falling of Roe uh, are very are very clear to you. I guess the issue here is that even some Republicans and conservatives seem confused by this IVF stuff. They, they're not understanding. Wait a second. We want people to have babies, but then we don't want them to have babies, but then we can't really give them contraception. And if they have to be nearly dead to have an exception to the abortion laws, except as we've learned in Texas, even if you're nearly dead and your doctor says that you're entitled to an abortion, you actually still can't get one. Yeah, uh, you're being so kind by calling them confused. <laughs> They are not confused. They just stupid. They, they just don't know what they're doing. And this is why they need to stay in their lane, right? Like we're not doctors and we should allow doctors to be the one to tell us what we should and should not allow. This is a science thing. I know that they are trying to rid this country of science and rid this country of history and all the very basic things. You know, they obviously struggle with math as well. Listen, we need to send the Republicans back to elementary school so that they can get the basics and understand what it is that we should be relying upon, including our doctors, our doctors that are telling us, listen, these policies will kill women. Listen, these policies will disallow those that actually want to bring children into this world from being able to do so. And this idea of trying to define personhood before someone has actually entered the world is absolutely insane to me. I mean, I saw on social media just the other day, someone said the reason that we don't call um, um, IVF, we don't look at that and say these are children is because when is the last time you could put a child in the freezer and they actually live? Right? Like, that's not what you do, but you keep them in the freezer. And so it's this idea that we're going to ignore the experts. That's why we're struggling with climate change. That's why we're struggling with, mm -hmm. uh, with repro. That's why we're struggling in general in this country. And it's time to get back on track. It's time to listen to the experts instead of listening to those that I would consider to be ignorant. But that's full circle to my first question to you about Project 2025. The whole idea is imbuing the presidency with authority that the founders did not think the presidency should, should have because we fought off a king, right? And, and, and it's, it's that president being able to uh, appoint people to head what we otherwise think of as government agencies headed by experts who are approved by the Senate 
and just putting in who you like because they're loyal to you. Loyalty. This is the a hypothetical first loyalty first cabinet that has been floated by Axios as part of a Trump administration. You should see some of the names that are on here. I mean, we, we got Jared Kushner possibly as the uh, Secretary of State. We got Cash Patel who said that they're going to jail journalists. You got Stephen Miller with some remarkably out of sync uh, immigration policies. That's the problem. We are actually talking about taking the experts out of government and replacing them with people who are loyal to uh, ideological political positions. Yeah, and honestly, we've seen this happen slowly but surely, right? I mean, how did we get here in the first place? It is because it's been these loyalists. I mean, when you look at the Supreme Court, you know, you would hope and think that people that actually have a law degree understood um, what it meant to have a law degree, what it meant to practice law, what it meant to actually honor precedents, what that looked like. But instead, you have people with an agenda, and that agenda started with Roe and overturning Roe, regardless of what they said when it came down to their confirmation. We're continuously seeing that. I mean, we know that we've got that crazy judge down in Texas who then wanted to go after Mifa Pristone. We also know that they don't want to stop with Mifa Pristone. We know that they want to look at things such as contraception as a whole. And so the, the, the problem that we're having is that courts are typically supposed to listen to experts. Mm -hmm. And even us sitting in Congress, we're supposed to be listening to experts. We're supposed to be taking expert um, testimony when they come in before us in committee. But instead, we're listening to the nonsense of, say, someone who's just now been indicted for lying, and that is the basis of impeaching the president. This is how far the Republican Party has fallen. And honestly, I just want the real Republicans to stand up and take their party back. Yeah, uh, I think that would be a better situation for everybody in America. Uh, Republicans stand up and take their party back. Jasmine Crockett, great to see you as always. Thank you. Democratic great Representative Jasmine Crockett of Texas.